Yo, what is going on guys, Bobby here, and today we actually got a really good video for you guys. We haven't done this in a while, and I kind of really like this series. So it is our thrower little series where we rank the three throwers in the game. Which one is worst, which one is in the middle, and which one is best. I really do like throwers. I think they're a little bit skilled, at least some of them, not tick. But anyways, what we're going to be doing is ranking them from least to middle to worst. We're going to be telling you guys which modes they're good in, what they're good at, which star powers, etc. So with that being said... We're going to start off with our worst mid. Let's hop into the game and let's see who it is. Okay, so we are playing with my wife and a random. She's not really my wife, by the way, for every... I see a lot of questions about that. She's not actually. But we are playing with randoms here, so don't expect too much. But we're going to be going Mike. Now, Mike is the worst thrower in Brawl Stars. And that's unfortunate because he's my favorite and a lot of you guys' favorites in Brawl Stars. Now, Lukey Bear, if you're watching this video, I'm using demo. I'm sorry. It's just better. It's for me, it is better. I find the jump jump to be unnecessary, but a lot of people can make really high IQ plays, really amazing plays with it. So I wouldn't necessarily roast somebody for using it. I'm gonna move over here, take the shot over here on the Tara. So we're gonna talk about what Mike is good at. So Mike is really high DPS for a thrower and just for a brawler in general. If you're good at aiming and can hit your shots, Mike is extremely, extremely lethal to play. Oh, we're gonna miss that super over there as I talk about aiming shots are gonna go down. But Mike is really good at like Siege or at Heist where you have a really, you know, aggressive comp and you want to be able to get those one pushes. Definitely would recommend using a uh, Mike in those situations. I'm going to just move over here. Obviously for destroying turrets, it's really good. I feel like Mike is one of the few brawlers where, which like actually has two really useful star powers. So there's also that that I really like about him. Oh, the Tara is still alive. Interesting. Probably really close to super. Gonna be able to pick up that kill over there. Gonna go for this super. Gonna be able to get their mid. Gonna just walk over here. I'm not gonna be able to stay alive, but we are gonna be able to get the gems. And as I said, you know, two really good star powers. Good in modes where, you know, you wanna get those high DPS, so like Siege and, um, and Heist. Um, I don't think Mike is really good in solo modes. He might be decent in duo. But I believe that is it. So I would definitely recommend using, again, Mike in modes. Unless you're really good with him. If you're really good with Mike, I would definitely recommend just using Mike everywhere. But definitely just using it in those modes where you're trying to do a lot of damage. So we're going to do one more game with Mike. And let's continue on after that one and talk about who the next lobber is. Okay, so into the next bit over here, we're going to talk about brawlers that Mike does very well against, and then brawlers that you kind of want to stay away from. So we're going to start by talking about what you want to stay away from. This one's fairly obvious. You want to stay away from Mortis. You know, Crow, oh, that's going to line up beautifully. Oh, we're not able to get that kill. That was nice, though, because we have this lane completely opened up on our end. We can see everything. Obviously, you want to avoid there being grass, because brawlers that sneak on you, such as like tanks, you know, obviously doesn't do well against dynamite. Gonna lob this shot over there, be able to take out that crow. If you're a high IQ player and can hit your shots, like Mike is fun. And you guys can see I'm kind of enjoying myself over here with dynamite. Gonna be able to hit those shots over there. Gonna be able to hit the Pim. But this is, you know, just amazingly fun. So obviously staying away from Mortis. Tanks you kind of want to stay away from. You do very well against brawlers with turrets. So I would recommend facing brawlers with turrets. Wow, that was a really nasty kill over there. Some Something like Anita. Or sorry, I said stay away from. I meant you want to face brawlers with turrets. Or like a bear or something like that. Now, Crow does ha do a fairly good job. You kind of mix with Crow because when Crow gets a super, he can just jump on you and do a ton of damage. And you can't really counter it too well. You're going to be able to pick up the kill over there. I would stay away also from facing Carl's because anything that can just get in your face, Mike isn't very good with. Unless you're a pro at jumping, basically. So you guys can see the crow jumps here and there's nothing that we can really do. Luckily, we just have our teammates around. So that's going to end the game. And this, although it isn't that big of a gap, is going to be our worst thrower. Let's hop into the next games and let's talk about the middle thrower, which is really, really close to the top one. None of them are really, really like too good. I'd say Mike at a 30 brawlers is like 25, 24. This brawler is probably like 18 or 17. So let's hop into it and let's talk about it. Okay, so here we go into the next game. And this is going to be really interesting. Because they kind of counter us, but our next lobber is going to be Tick. Now, Tick, one of the brawlers I hate the most in Brawl Stars, for sure. Tick is just so annoying, and he used to be better. He used to be really, really good. He used to be super, super annoying, and I'm really happy he's not there anymore, but he still is. Um, Tick does a really good job, actually, against its counter, so you guys can see we're obviously getting countered here by Mortis. Not much we can do. We're able to stay alive there just because that is Mortis isn't the greatest player in the world. And we know how to counter. 
But I mean, Tig is just, he's kind of just average everywhere. He's probably the best gem grab um, thrower. We're going to load that over there. And probably the best at dealing with counters. Now, Tick again also has two kind of useful star powers. It's not as important as Dynamite's. I feel like you need to have one of Dynamite's star powers to be able to play him effectively. Tick isn't really like that. We're just going to drop this over here. The really cool part about Tick is the brawlers that counter you are brawlers that you can counter with your Tick head. So at points, you can always, you know, kind of figure out a situation and where you can win, which is something I really like about brawlers. It's something I really like about Gene where you can always win against some type of brawler. Now, it is definitely difficult, as you guys can see. I am struggling here with this Mortis. You guys can see the Mortis isn't just walking all over us. You know, we're doing our, we're holding our own. We're doing our thing. And we're doing it pretty well. So our mid is going to go down over there. We're just going to drop this ticket behind us, which is a strategy so they don't see it. We're going to be able, come on, get them. Oh, we're going to get a double hit, actually, with the ticket. Just going to move this over here. Get another kill, and that's going to be a team wipe. You don't normally see a lot of team wipes with Tick. It's a little bit interesting. We're going to back up. We're going to talk a little bit about modes after this one. And then obviously, Brawlers you want to stay away from is something that we're going to cover. Let's try and go for the kill over here. We're going to not be able to get it. Maybe I just really want that kill. No, we're not going to be able to get it. But that's pretty good. So let's hop into the next game, and let's see what happens. Okay, so into the next game. Here we go. And brawlers that you want to stay away from, um, not really any would tick. You outrange most of the brawlers, you outreload most of the brawlers. I mean, it's pretty interesting. Obviously, you want to stay away from like a Carl or a Mortis or something like that, but you can work your way around it. It's not as hard uh, as a counter as like Dynamite to Mortis is. So that's pretty cool. You outrange all of the throwers. So if you're in a thrower v thrower game, especially like against the Barley, you're going to do a really good job unless you do what I just did. Um, and even then, we somehow managed to find a way to tie it. You have insane area denial. The only way you should really be losing a lane with a thrower is if you're facing a dynamite and he just, you know, has good aim. He hits you with that one shot super or he two shots you or something like that. But besides that, you definitely should not be losing lane. Thrower v thrower. So we're going to go over here. So modes he's good in. Gem grab, amazing. He's pretty good in some siege maps. I wouldn't recommend. He's okay in some heist maps. Wouldn't really recommend. Probably the best bounty thrower. Um, not the greatest in solo modes. Now in duo showdown, he's actually pretty good. So I would kind of recommend playing him in duo showdown along with like a tank or a Carl or a Shelly or something like that. Depends on what the meta is on the map. Really good complimentary piece for a lot of other things. But I would definitely, if you're trying to grind tick, would just recommend and say, you know, play some tick in show or in gem grab. You guys can see we're doing some pretty nasty work over here. So anyways, that is going to end our discussion about tick. And we're going to move on to what the best thrower is, which if you guys can't guess who it is based on my first two brawlers, you guys probably need to try and, you know, work on your Brawl Stars IQ a little bit. Let's hop into it and let's see what it is. So hopping into this game, the best thrower in Brawl Stars is going to be Barley. Now we talked about where, where uh, Mike would be like 25th out of 30 brawlers. Tick would probably be about 17, maybe a little bit higher. Barley, I can probably give a top 10 spot to. Barley is really, really, really good. Especially if you know how to properly play him. Barley is an absolute animal in basically all of the modes. You can definitely play him and outplay a lot of, like, a ton, a ton of the brawlers. He is really, 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 really good and versatile. This Colt already gave up. Let's talk about him, though. Where is he really good? So his absolute shining moments is when he is playing Siege. Oh, these guys already gave up, I kind of feel bad. So when you're playing Siege and you got like a Rosa on your team or something, I've, I've had many videos where I've showed you guys that having like a tank on your team and the tank uses his super, or like the Rosa uses her super, and you're just lobbing bottles. You do a ton of damage. Same thing with Heist, you want to use it. Gem grab, it's okay. Um, but I would definitely stick to Heist and, um, and Siege, specifically Siege. But I mean, you guys can see we're still doing work over here. He's definitely playable, counters a lot, and doesn't have super, super, super heavy counters. Mike probably does get countered the most out of them all, but Barley is probably middle tier, if not the best at kind of just dealing with everything, because you know you have good DPS, you have decent health, you have decent range, you have good area denial, especially with that super, so I would definitely recommend using him. Let's hop into the next game. We're going to talk about star powers, because his star powers are really, really, really interesting. Let's get into our final game and talk about it. So here we go into the last game. Now, star powers are insanely interesting. So the second star power is what gives his uh, damage a buff, and that is the best one. You do really good damage. Um, you do really good, and it's just it makes Barley a little bit more versatile. But then 
in a barley versus barley matchup or a barley v thrower matchup the first star power is actually better and that's probably the only time it's better so a lot of pro barleys actually use the first star power over the second one they say they don't need the extra damage just want to stay alive usually a pro barley player is someone who takes a lot a lot of time when it comes to winning his lane he never gets hit he just chips away slowly slowly eventually his his uh, lane gets pushed back and that's a little bit harder to do when you don't have the first star power but when you have the first star power you always have health uh being regened you're always doing work and that's why it's really good so i would definitely recommend trying out both seeing what you like better if you're a really experienced thrower and an experienced barley player i would definitely recommend you know trying to master the first one especially if you're you know taking the game serious because right now we're kind of just running through people but usually when i'm taking this game when i'm taking it serious you know you definitely want to be using the first one trying your hardest to wear people down our mid's going to go down but that shouldn't be an issue over here we're going to be able to pick up that kill um things are looking pretty good just need two more gems but yeah that covers uh that covers barley and that actually covers all three of the throwers so that's gonna be the ranking barley maybe a top 10 brawler in the game i'm not sure yet i don't know where people have ranked them we're probably gonna do a ranking video soon though let's get these kills over here there we go got a couple kills but yeah that's gonna be it for the video so i hope you guys enjoyed this little ranking video i kind of do enjoy ranking things you guys know my legendary ranking video Again, here we have a thrower ranking video. If you guys want to see any more rankings, we'll definitely get into it. But that is going to be it for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little thing. It was definitely very educational, more than kind of, you know, just popping off. But that's what we like to do on this channel. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. And leave some feedback for what you guys think is the best and worst throwers in Brawl Stars. I will catch you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.